Today I wanted to do a video on letting yourself dream and this is something I've been reflecting on lately because I've had a few conversations with people that have made me actually question how many of us are actually letting ourselves dream, letting ourselves actually wonder what we would like to do with our lives. Many of us don't actually even know what we want, possibly because we don't even let our minds go there. I was speaking to somebody the other day and we were talking about money. Before he even started to kind of get into the conversation, he just said, he was like, by the way, I know this is never gonna happen and this is super unrealistic, before he then said like his dream. And it just made me immediately think, like, he didn't even allow himself to engage in that dream before he shut himself down. He, that was the first barrier to, of course he's never gonna get there, because he's already shut himself down. So many of us shut ourselves down, don't even let ourselves engage in the thinking of what we actually want in life, what we can achieve, because we look around at every, what everybody else is doing. And a lot of us follow society's system, you know, the system of school and then college and then work. And then we stay in a job for, the, for 40 years of our life. And I mean, if that's the life you want, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But what I am saying is that so many of us just follow this path without ever questioning, actually, what do I want to do? Have you ever thought to yourself, if I could do anything in the world, what do I want to do? What could I imagine? What could I create? What do I want to explore? Like take away money as a factor right now and just actually let yourself go to those places. Let yourself wander. Because I think so many of us don't. We put a barrier there straight away because we're so conditioned to what's happening around us. You have to understand that our minds essentially are small in the fact that they're like in these four walls of this is the reality. Whereas in actually there's so much beyond that. But we've just accepted it because this is all you can see right now. You haven't experienced out here. You're in this box right here. This is how everything works. We don't allow ourselves to dream because it just doesn't even seem possible. It doesn't seem doable. People can't fathom any bigger than that, any bigger than their small experience. Big dreams can't be fathomed in small minds. Dreams are so put down in our society. If you say this thing that nobody's ever heard of before, or you want to make this amount of money in your own business, so many of these things are immediately judged as unrealistic. There's so many people telling you, you can't do that. There's so many people saying, I don't believe in this. They're going to put you down because it's their own projection. They just couldn't believe themselves themselves doing that. A classic example is the Wright brothers, the two brothers who made the first ever aeroplane. They literally were trying in a time where no one had ever created such an invention before and yet everyone said I don't believe you everyone said you guys are silly no one believed them and yet look at today how we travel everywhere how they've literally changed the world forever the first step is to let yourself dream and and actually there is a possibility that you could do what you want so many of us settle for this version of a life that we actually don't want to dream is like to let your spirit come alive what makes you feel joy what makes you feel happy what makes you feel meaningful and purposeful. So many people have a midlife crisis, they have a midlife awakening, they suddenly realise that their whole life has passed and they've sat, sat at this shitty desk job where nobody cares about them and they've just realised that what have they done with their lives? So many of us are lacking meaning, so many of us are lacking purpose and it just makes sense. Of course we're lacking meaning and purpose because we're following this system which isn't made for us, it's not made for who you are as an individual. It's not made to look to make your soul feel alive. It's not made for that. And so then we're wondering, you know, why, why, like, why don't I feel fulfilled in this life? And why am I not happy? And well, it's because you're you're not in the right direction. You're not following your spirit. You're not following what you want to do. And you've never even allowed yourself to think what you want to do because you've just been following the the path that is set out for you. And so you need to expand your mind. You need to let yourself go to different places, places that maybe you've never let yourself go before. For. And obviously, you know, you need action and you need plans and you need doing, you know, you can't just dream and these things will come true. That's not how it works. But the world has so much possibilities. This world has so much opportunities and let yourself truly wonder what life could 
be like if you really wanted it to be like? How could you live the life you wanted? Let's not be like those people who are the naysayers and the haters and the downers and the criticizers. We need more supporters, we need more believers, we need more creators, we need more imaginators. If you have family and friends and people around you who come up with your ideas, I just encourage you to just be the person that supports them, be the person that listens and believes because we need way more people like that. Thank you for watching and I hope that you let yourself dream.